Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. If you have a Ford vehicle guys and your airbag light is on, we are guys going to cover the most common reason for an airbag light to be on on modern vehicle and that includes guys Ford as well. This is a very common problem especially with the higher mileage vehicles guys. We will demonstrate on a Ford Focus but it will apply pretty much to any Ford guys. Quick introduction, we will have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel guys and like the video, hopefully you will find the information helpful. Let me go ahead guys, uh, I will go ahead uh, start that vehicle and show you how the airbag light is on on that fork. And we are going to guys cover the top one reason what causes your airbag light to be on. Okay, this is the most common reason. So. Let me show you now guys. Okay, we're inside the car. I'll go ahead, start it quick. Okay, start it quick. And check it out, airbag light comes back on guys. Right there. Okay, that's not a good sight. You see your airbag light on and you just... Okay, don't like it. Why? Because... It's there guys, it's poking your eyes, you know, something's not good with your safety system, so you want to guys fix that. So, what we are going to do now? Okay, we are going to go ahead and turn the car off. Okay, we turn it off. Now, I'm going to go ahead guys and connect the scanner to the OBD port of that Ford vehicle. OBD port is where you connect your scanner, usually it's under a cover or under the dash somewhere underneath. So, go ahead, connect it guys. Okay, and next... We are going to turn the ignition on, okay, like that. Perfect. Now, let me show you. Right here, we are going to go ahead and open the scanner. So that scanner, guys, works on any car, not just Ford, and it's simply amazing, guys. Okay, check out all the makes that it supports. Lamborghini, Bugatti, Audi, Volkswagen, Mercedes, BMW, Ford guys, pretty much amazing. And that thing, you can read and delete the codes from every computer in the car guys and see live data. That is uh, it's just amazing guys for what you pay. So if you want to check it out, we'll have the link listed in the description of the video below and you can see where we bought ours from. Okay, this is the VIN number of the car, you can auto detect it and it's going to decode it, give us what vehicle we have that way guys. Okay, that way uh, we don't have to manually select the vehicle which makes things even a little bit easier. Okay, we are going to click yes. Now it's going to take a little bit of time to load. Now in the top corner you can check your voltage here, of your car battery 11.7 volts which is uh, a little bit low. Our battery is a little bit low, so you, we either need to charge it, guys, or when you're doing diagnostics, I recommend to have it uh, at least at 12 volts for stable operation. Sometimes uh, you may not get good diagnostics result because of that, so always, guys, do that. Uh, put it on a, a battery charger if you need to, to make sure that it stays at around 12 volts at least. Okay, it needs to be any second now. It's going to give us two options. Yep, control unit. Now you can see all the different computers present in that car. We are guys going to select RCM. This stands for Restraint Control Module. Select this one. And you can read the codes guys. Okay. And I'll show you in a second what codes we have here, it's establishing communication should be any any minute now connecting to the airbag module sometimes it does take a little bit longer so it says right side airbag deployment passenger seat belt sensor and lost communication with restraint occupant sensor this guys is the most common reason for a Ford guys airbag light to be on U0154 guys, lost communication with restraint occupant classification system. What that means, let me just click live data to be loading while I'm explaining. It means guys, you have a sensor in the seat that detects how heavy the person is so it knows whether to activate or deactivate the airbag in the dash. And if that sensor is not functioning or it's disconnected, it's not going to uh, uh, detect the weight guys and as a result, the airbag light will be on. Now. And you can see guys the occupant classification sensor status says in, 
indeterminate okay so it doesn't know how heavy the person is so i'll show you guys what is causing that now every time you guys work on your airbag system i'll definitely recommend to disconnect your car battery at least one hour before the repair that way we will minimize uh, the possibility to injure or kill ourselves guys uh, airbag systems are super complicated advanced guys and dangerous so if you're not qualified and certified i will not recommend to do the job yourself take it to a, a professional guys but in our video guys this is just an entertaining video we will show you what we're doing to fix our problem now and another reason guys okay the seat belt cat okay the one that detects the seat belt if it's in or not that's very common reason as well to activate the airbag now this is guys okay let me show you now right here this is uh, the airbag guys um, uh, the bottom of the seat where that sensor mat is located as well things are really really cramped up there and sometimes people will knock a cable loose sensor will be good but they will not knock things loose guys and as a result what will happen actually okay uh, it will guys uh, uh, knock a, uh, a wire loose for that sensor that you need to inspect and reconnect because sometimes if somebody puts their feet under the seat on the back okay that can happen so we ha we had a loose wire okay wire connector we reconnected it now we're going to see if that will fix the problem guys so everything is reconnected guys i'll turn the ignition back on okay ensure that all cables are reconnected switch ignition on okay that's because we had everything off now we'll go to the occupant sensor and it's going to say empty guys check it out it changed to empty so let's open the door and we'll have a passenger guys sit on the seat okay so we're just going to sit in the seat guys and check out what's going to happen from empty okay give it some time it says occupied enable guys so if you have a passenger that's over a certain weight it should say occupied enable so as you can see ours guys is working now and if we get up okay and check it out now it should say guys empty in just a couple seconds empty so that guys is the most common reason for airbag light to be on now the cool thing about forward once you fix the problem airbag light goes off so it's not there anymore but you want to guys delete the codes that's why you need the scanner so they're not present in the system and we'll go ahead and just click uh, delete codes now so it's establishing communication again with the modules and everything and uh, by deleting them guys later if you need to scan the system or something these codes will not be present otherwise you can get them confused and if you're trying to diagnose your system it could be complicated guys so these are you can see uh, the codes guys okay that we had stored in the system so if i go back i'll click erase codes ignition of engine ignition on engine off yes and codes have been successfully erased guys so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time